black tie, I believe. We've got uh, information on the table up there for anybody who wants to uh, sponsor a table, get tickets, or donate uh, raffle items or uh, sign an auction item for the uh, dinner. So we'll, we'll look forward to that. Then we have a uh, ribbon cutting coming up on June 8th. Uh, for, uh, is this the Ace Hardware difference? Or is this part of yes, it's part of it. Okay, it's part of the rim thing right here. So appreciate y'all coming out there and attending that uh, if you could. Uh, show support for Carl. It's been uh, a uh, part of this community for a long, long time, and we're going to show our continued support for them that they have for this uh, for this area, <coughs> people of Hawkins County. So, and then we've got the uh, next up. You want to talk first? Or you want to go ahead and let y'all? Let's go ahead and let Bob here. Okay. All right, next up is uh, Bob Hilburn. <laughs> Bob here was, and did a really brief thing about, uh, <laughs> I think last month, talked about the new program we've got going on for tourism with the chamber. And we're going to give him a lot more time to speak this time. <laughs> yeah, go into more detail what's going on. Well, they're bringing that down. One of the things that I want you to notice in the uh, last presentation that he's doing, we've had several of you all that have already purchased a uh, banner ad, and so we've got several of those up uh, in the different uh, levels, so um, um, kind of notice those, and uh, we still, we got the 31st of this month to get in on the, the, the deal we did uh, for a little, tie you in for that advertisement for um, uh, three years, is that correct? That's correct. And so... So anyway, just kind of keep that in mind as, as you look at this, and, and he'll be showing you some of the different um, um, advertisements that we've already put up. Um, and uh, we're, we haven't even launched his website, and we're already getting a tremendous response to it. So, okay. Good. Good morning. I'm Bob Hilburn, and I've worked, I guess Nancy and I have worked together for about 12 years in Iowa. Yes. So I'm not necessarily new to the area, but you probably don't see me very often. <laughs> I was kind of behind the scenes. Um, but part of the ARP Act, uh, this grant that we got, uh, we had to make, there were two requirements. It had to be transformational. And when we looked around, we were always trying to find a way to really get Hopkins County on the map as far as tourism is concerned and for travel. Um, so we came up with East Tennessee Visitor's Guide. And the second part of it is they had, it had to be um, self-sustaining. So we had to show that it would be self-sustaining and how we would go about that is through these um, banner ads and pieces to help promote each individual business. Um, and what you've got to understand is through content, working with Google for years now, um, <coughs> we determined that you know through content and all of you guys participating on this and even going outside of the area because East Tennessee covers more than Hawkins County, we recognize by doing that, we open up the door for other people to come in. It makes it a more valuable site in terms of the way Google and Bing looks at it, which puts you in a better position. So when people search around on the internet, you have a better, a better ability of being found. And so that's why we thought we'd come out with East Tennessee Visitor, Visitor's Guide. We also have the Vacation Guide too, but Visitor's Guide we wanted to do because we not only wanted tourism, we wanted people who wanted to look and find a new town to go to, uh, find places that they could go with a small business conference, because we have a lot of tools in this area where they could come with a small business and have a little conference. And we'll talk about that in a minute, but that's kind of the idea. Now, going across the top, can y'all see that well across the top? We've got just five simple bars right here in the navigation. The home bar just takes you to the home. And on this, what we'll do is we have kind of some featured picks. And these will be random and they'll come up um, and randomize so everyone gets a fair shot and provide information. So if you go back to the website, you might find something new. Um, so that's the idea behind that. And then, of course, also at the top navigation, we want to match the navigation at the top with what's on the front page, home page. And these are experiences. Um, experiences could be, you know, if you're interested in the Civil War, you might want to go to the history page. If you like going camping or glamping or anything like that, you go to the outdoors page. And of course, you can find out about events, 
museums, if you like that, shopping and dining, maybe you want a girls weekend and you're trying to figure out what's available to do, you can hit those different sections. When you go into it, for instance, we'll go up here, select history, it takes you to the experience page of history, and you've got all these different places you can investigate. Um, and then on top of that, we'll go to the Hell Springs Inn. And we, we did this last time, but we did it kind of real quick. So if I want to learn about the Hell Springs Inn, you've got all the information here. You've got a drop bar, which allows you to kind of move around and look at the different rooms. But also, too, part of this thing that we wanted to do is we wanted to make it real engaging. We do know that if you have a 360 tour, Google will tell you they're twice as likely to visit your place. But we even engage it further by having these 360, we got a frame. We have the 360 video. So when you click these people, they come along. Hawkins County, you can find the oldest continuous mm -hmm. operating inn in the state of Tennessee. The historic Hale Springs Inn. Built in 1824, the inn has hosted three U.S. presidents, Andrew Jackson, James K. Polk, and Andrew Johnson. And the historic Hale Springs Inn wants to welcome you to come stay and enjoy their wonderful accommodation. And what's great about this, too, I don't, I don't know if you noticed, there's a reservation button at the top. Also, too, if you go below the page, there's all the information for your business. Hours, address, phone number, and another link to the website. And then we go further, and it provides additional information about some of the features you might have about your business. Um, and also, we also include a gallery of photos. So that way, they can really kind of really get engaged in your business and understand what you're all about. And that's real quick. Coming back up the page, so we've done, kind of looked at a 360 video tour, what a, a page looks like for your business. Uh, we'll go back up to um, places. Each one of our towns, uh, besides the individual businesses, we wanted to kind of introduce you to all the towns in East Tennessee. And of course, we're slowly building. It takes us time to get to the town and find out what's engaging and the history of the town. Uh, but each one of these towns, we will go to Rogersville. But you can see Bulls Gap, Lawrenceville, <coughs> Mooresburg, Churchill, Mount Carmel, Bristol, Greenville, and so on and so on. Uh, but we also created their own little icon, this image right here. Because what we want to eventually get to, and I mentioned this last time briefly, is the, uh, the 251 Club, which in Vermont they have the 251 Club. And it happened kind of by accident. But the idea is if you go to every one of these towns, you're part of the club. And so what we wanted to do is take each one of these little icons and create something that you need. So if you go to the town, you get the pen. Collect the pen, you're part of the club. And so it just makes people, and people love this kind of thing. They love games and the engagement and to discover and explore these places and go around. So that's kind of part of what we want to do just to get even further engagement. But if we go to Rogersville, each town city guide has these quick navigation buttons here. And then, of course, we have a little information about the downtown uh, on this 360. This young lady's going to talk to it. Let her say something. Ryan Standing is the Four Corners in Rockville, Tennessee. The Four Corners have remained intact since first being created in 1789. Historic buildings that surround the Four Corners include Hawkins County Courthouse, the House Springs Inn, and the Overton Masonic Wall. And so you could obviously cruise around and learn a little bit more by moving to the town. And she'll appear again in just a minute. Uh, and you can learn more about the town. But also, going back up to quick navigation, we got like the weather and the best time to visit. Events and top attractions, we'll hit that. So we have all the events running here. We have the top attractions like uh, the <coughs> newspaper me, um, and printing museum, the courthouse itself, Crockett Springs Park, Swift Museum, and so on. Uh, we have the parks listed here. So if you are interested in going by a park, also too, uh, thank you, First Community Bank. Uh, they were one of the first to jump in and want to do a banner ad. This is what a, what a banner ad looks like on the page. 
Um, they also have a page, and we'll go to it in just a second. But the banner ad so you can link you quickly to their website. And then, of course, if we come down here, we've got listings of businesses. And these are already participants with our um, with East Tennessee Visitors Guide. And we'll go to the First Community Bank page. And like you saw before, um, it has all your information, links to your website, more information about what you are, and of course, they're required to have a member of the FDIC. Below it, too, we run related posts for re related businesses in the area, so that way it kind of engages you, helps you move around easily on the side. Going back up, sorry. Um, and so it's simple like that. Nancy, what do I, I'll, else do I need to mention? Well, of course, we, uh, with this site, we have all the uh, uh, different uh, programs that we offer. Okay. Do we hand that out? <coughs> Should we hand that out? Well, I've got them on the table here. Okay. Let, let's hand them out. There are three options to participate. And what we wanted to do, and what Nancy really wanted to do, even though we're going to reach outside of Hawkins County, it will be priced different if you're outside of Hawkins County, but we wanted to make sure the people in Hawkins County were protected. We have a special, it's a $99 deal for the year. If you do it now, you can keep that $99 deal for the next three years. And that's the basic program, the basic web page. You get a web page, I'll show you. We'll go back to Rogersville. Quickly go down to businesses. And so, like for instance, the uh, Farm Bureau Insurance, they pay $99. They got a base page, it has your information, links to your website, uh, more information about Steve and his business. And so, it tells you all of those things to connect you in with your town. Um, and you'll select the town, you. um, you'll select the experience. In other words, like for instance, you belong in the outdoors, you belong in the museum section, the history section, and our different section, depending on what your business is. So we've got it covered based on what kind of business you are. And that's the first one is the basic one for $99. Can I have a sheet so I can read along to you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, that's the five year special. You get all those little bonuses. Well, uh, add your story, photo gallery, link to your business, add it to your business's city guide, like in Rogersville or Sigourneville, wherever you belong. And you might belong in a couple of different places too. Some of you do um, that have already participated. Um, and then of course you are in your featured selected experience category. Remember we talked about experience being like outdoors, museums, different things depending on the type of business you are. You, um, and so that we can discuss where, what's appropriate for you if you're not sure. The second option, option two, makes a stronger impact. And that's those 360 videos. You can tell your story real quick. And we'll go, let's go to one here. Oh, this is fun. We just shot this one. Let me go to it. Uh -huh. So in this case, you have a 360 video. You also have you know, the ability to kind of explain uh, what your business is about. And I'm going to hit this and let Johnny tell you a little bit. But he's playing the mandolin to start. I thought that was more indicative of what you should do. It's a music play. So him playing the mandolin for just a second. Then he'll tell you about Melody Harmon. So it really kind of gets you engaged, because honestly, I'm just going to be honest, if you drive by Bellman the Hardway, you may not go in. <laughs> and if you're outside, you don't know about it. So you really need to engage people a little bit and let them know more about it, and they can step inside and see what's going on inside. He's going to talk to you. And then, of course, what you can do is scroll around and see, like, the antiques <coughs> and the lounge area. Uh, also, where are we? The front door. And so you 
kind of get an idea about it. That's the 360 video tour. It's everything that the base had, but now it has that 360 tour. You only have to pay for the 360 tour one time, okay? And then after that, it's going to be $99 a year, okay? Now, if you want to do a new video each year, some people do choose to, that, choose to do that, then you'll have that cost again. But you only have to do this video once. Um, it's a good piece. It's, it's a nice feature. Also, too, I'm a Google <coughs> Master Photographer. I'm going to put that 360 tour on your Google business listing and Google Maps, too. So it does give you a little bit extra. Everything you're paying does go to the chamber, just so you know. Um, so every bit of this helps support the chamber, helps support this tool to keep people engaged and keep um, Hawkins County in the forefront of people's minds. That applies to the other counties you participated in Auckland back here. Yeah, the other counties as well. The idea, again, guys, you might go, why, why would you let other counties in? You need to. East Tennessee Visitor's Guide is going to be a place with good content. If it has good content, you stay on the page. You go, wait a minute, I've never seen this place. Let's go check it out. And so that's the idea. You go up against Gatlinburg. You go up against Knoxville. You go up against them. But you guys have a lot of great things here that when we were looking, you couldn't find. Bellamy Heart's cool. I mean, and those guys have great thing going on. And then there's the new Sigourney's area uh, museum we shot as well. It's really nice. Um, and we'll go inside that while I explain a second. But I'm saying all the businesses now that kind of participate, that money comes back to the chamber here. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It comes yeah. back to the chamber here. The idea is, it's just simple. If they're paying this chamber and they're outside, and I already picked up three last week. I picked up three in Bristol. Because I'm I, one person I work with typically, and I didn't know they had three businesses, because I knew they had two. And I said, I want to show you something we're doing. I want your input. He goes, let, let me see that again. I said, so right now we're offering this deal. I offered the deal, because that's all I had in writing. And she goes, well, let me see that again. I want to do that. And she goes, I got a third business. like, you do? And so three, she put three businesses on there in Bristol, Tennessee. All that means to you is the chamber has more revenue to do more things for Hawkins County. All it means to you is just better content. So when Google goes in, they look at it and go, this is great. And being a master <laughs> photographer with Google, too, I'm introduced to AI, AI uh, which is artificial intelligence for BART. They've given me that tool. And so what I've been doing, too, on top of that, we'll go to the home page. And this... Let's go back to, oh, that's the, let me show you this museum. It's great, but nobody's seen it yet. But um, Johnny's wife decided to speak for us. But you can see how great it looks. Did y'all, have anyone seen it? And then you go through it, it's just a great, they had it laid out. Awesome. So when you see that, you know it's underneath the library. Would you go there? Well, now I will. And she'll talk to you and all that. Um, but I'll go back to the home page and talk about the artifact intelligence and BART and stuff. And why that is kind of a cool tool. So we did visit Rogersville, just did a page, and had it create, here's a three-day getaway to um, Rogersville. So it tells you all the things to do. But here's the cool thing. A lot of it was wrong, so we corrected the information. But you got to understand, Google's writing this. So if Google's writing it, they like it, right? They like the content, the search engines like it. Hey, this is how we see it. This is how we perceive it. What does that mean? It moves you up. It moves you up in the rank because it's content they deem as quality content. Because they're writing it. So that's kind of the idea. Um, so let's go to option three, the biggest impact. Thank you, First Community Bank. Um, anyway, you do a banner. You get all the tools. The banners, we can put you on the home page. We'll put you in your community. It's first come, first serve, because if they take your place, you get the next one. But the idea is it's much more visible. You get more tools. Um, and it's only $900, and that's for the year. Uh, but it's a great tool to put you in places that, you know, the, the, the $99 tool is going to put you in your community. 
this tour is going to put you in East Tennessee visiting time as a band. It, and that's the point. And, you know, you're paying more, so you're going to be more visible. You're going to be put where you want to be put. Um, and so that's it, real simple. I know you have questions, because everybody looks like they have a question. No questions? Yeah, of course you can upgrade. We welcome upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> we love upgrades. Also, I just want to say that it got put up, it got put together, it got put together fast, and I love what you've done. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. thank you. We really strive, and it's simple. Guys, don't get thinking, oh, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, that's okay. We'll help you. We'll guide you with what's appropriate. And sometimes you may not like what we say, but I want to make sure that it works best for you. So what you're selling makes sense. Um, and so that's kind of what we do. And Nancy will help you too. And, um, and Patrick will help you. <laughs> uh, but that's it in a nutshell. It's simple. It's effective. Uh, we're already seeing great response. We do use Google Site Kit and all that. So at the end of the year, we'll provide you with data about your business, who tracked in and who tracked out. Um, and that's important, too, for your business, too. That way you go, was this working? Oh, yeah, it was working. <laughs> you know, and so that's it. Thank you. I think part of the deal is what's great about this deal is a lot of people won't just come to Rockville just for the sake of Rockville, but if they see there's a whole lot of things to do in that area, they're more willing to come to Rockville and then maybe hit Greenville and then hit Dunbar. So it brings in tourism for the whole area. And again, the chamber benefits from all this what Bob and Nancy's been doing setting up because all that money comes back to the chamber. So when we can hire somebody to help Nancy. <laughs> That's the big thing right now. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, it's a real good deal. Bob's in here quite often. If not, if Nancy he'll come back there and help set everything up. He does really, really great work and he's working with Nancy for a long time. So that turn over to you, Nancy. Okay. Going along with that, I don't know whether y'all noticed, but uh, we're doing we're doing a lot of different things. This is phase one of, of what we're doing. Uh, then there's going to be additional things of putting some kiosks in. Uh, we just uh, went through. Uh, Bob not only does the technology part of it, but he does some annual labor also. Um, we um, uh, have put um, a historic trail uh, that people can go in the, as a starting point, and each one of the sites are numbered. Uh, and um, uh, all of those are in. You take your phone, put it on the QR code. It tells you exactly where you're at, what, what is going on there. Because sometimes uh, on weekends we've got, uh, you know, say you go to Crockett Springs Park and you know that there's something there, but you really don't know what it is. So you go, now you go, and there's a little block there and it has a QR code on it. You put your phone and it tells you what all's there and what you can do. Uh, we've got one uh, right here. Um, uh, the sites that we got, we've got 10 sites right now. Uh, we're going to be adding more to them as um, we uh, get more uh, money out of the grant. We, we expended our first year of money for the grant. It had to be spent by June 30th and turned in by 1st of May. So we've already done, this is phase one, and then we'll start on phase two uh, just as soon as they allow us uh, to release the money. But we've got lots of lots of great things going on and things to pull people into the community. And what we have discovered that when uh, people are looking even for a place to live, that they're going to go to this site. They're going to see what you have. They're going to see what you offer. And this may be where I want to move to or this is where, you know, and we've got local people. I mean, I, every day I get calls and say, what's there to do in Rogersville? Or y'all go on that famous site, My Rogersville, and they say, there's nothing to do to Rogers. We'll go to Kingsport. Well, we don't want people going to Kingsport. We want them to stay here. We want them to to utilize the businesses here, and we want them to come in and, and eat in our restaurants, stay in our hotels. Uh, and we, that's one thing we talked about. I'm interrupting you. Forgive me. Uh, to help a small business conference, because you can stay at the Hell Springs Inn. You can use occasions on the square. You can go out to Amy Mill, and we plan a whole day for you. And so... People are looking for different places to do it, but you've got to tell them what to do. 
they're not going to figure it out all on their own, but if you lay it out for them, they'll do it. So. And if it's, if it's a stagnant site, they're not going to they're not going to stay on it. That's that's the thing we're trying to do is get them to stay on longer, learn about our community, and be willing to come here. I would just say he's real responsible for tweaks on the side. If you see something, he, he's real, he, he's on top of it and gets anything done that needs to be tweaked out that we might see as a change or something. Yes. He's real responsible for that. Yeah. And, and, and we go in and look at everything and, and then we ask you all to look at what you put up. If there's anything that, that you want to change, well, you know, Bob's more than willing and, and like Mike said, he's very quick about getting it done. I usually can shoot him an email at 12 o'clock and by 3 o'clock that afternoon it's been corrected. So that's uh, the other advantage of that. But anyway, we've got a lot of great things going on in our community and by promoting our community this way, uh, it just makes it a better place for people to want to come. Um, and then I got, uh, since Bob took all my time, I've got one minute to show you all the rest of the stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go through this real quick. St. Mark's Church, uh, we're moving forward with that. We've got all the demolition done inside the church. I uh, have applied or applied for the grant to uh, put it back. We'll have a work center there, which will help small businesses to bring more businesses into the community. Um, Swift Park, uh, we're still uh, working with Park and Rec to do some things there. Uh, tourism, uh, the ARP grant is what we just did, um, and the co-op marketing grant was what we paid for the 10 uh, historic... Welcome to the uh, side of the oldest stone oh, dam in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, James won't talk to y'all. We also uh, have completed the down... You know, one of the things that, that people look for when they come into a community is, is how well it looks. And we have been very fortunate in being able to get a downtown improvement grant. And with that grant, uh, we've completed seven projects now. If you go by uh, one accord, uh, Sheldon painted all three of his buildings, uh, really needed a paint job, and we helped him do that, and it looks fantastic. If you go up the street, you've got, um, um, oh, uh, Andrew Pope, Andrew, <laughs> uh, has his realty business here. He was uh, based out of Knoxville, now he's in Rogersville, and helping people in Rogersville. Uh, he has also leased out the other side, and he's bringing in, uh, I think it's a New Jersey pizza uh, place that's coming in there. Um, and uh, Mike Seal started before we had a chance, but the beautiful Pure Station, uh, we're saving it. And so now when you come over the hill into downtown, you've got beauty on both sides. That was one of the things that Main Street uh, director that came up, and she said, you know, if you could just get those two places right there fixed. Because they were. They were an eyesore. And now they're being fixed. And so, you know, and that's part of um, making sure that we keep everything looking nice and, and moving forward. And, you know, old buildings are hard to, to keep up. And so being able to offer some incentive for some of those building owners to be able to, to upgrade their buildings. And, and unfortunately, it's just for the outside facade, but that helps them go ahead and get that part done. And, and, and uh, they, uh, it only costs them, uh, I think, a 30% of what the price was. So that's uh, another opportunity that we've had. We completed seven projects, and as soon as I turned the seventh one in, First Tennessee Development just sent me an uh, email that says, we're going for the next one. So, yeah, we're going for the next one. So, so we're going to try to get one more, and we've got uh, a lot of different uh, things that we're working on. The Powell Law Office is going to be another small attraction that we're going to probably use for an overflow for the inn or for a bridal. Uh, and then uh, we're working on Rogers Tavern. Uh, now I know y'all saw in the paper where they discovered that there's a, a little log cabin at the back of it. So, so just lots of great things going on and, and making improvements for our community to make it a better place to live. Um, working with uh, all the other different cities and doing the same thing. I just <coughs> talk a little more about Rogersville because it's just, you know, I'm, I'm right downtown in the middle of it. Um, we did receive word that we got our USDA grant to, to start working on the co-maker space. Um, and someone asked me about the dog uh, park. It's scheduled to open June, and I know that's been a long haul, but it's just hard to find workers. We started working on it when the pandemic hit, and it's just really hard. And so um, hopefully uh, we'll have that open this summer and have a place for, because we have visitors come in and bring their animals, and they'll come and ask, is there somewhere where I can just take my animal and let it run for a little while? We've been cooped up in a car, we've been cooped up in a hotel room. Um, and we're, um, once again,
again, certifying for the Three Star Award, and we're working on that. And we're actually going to help the school system and the TCAP to do some marketing, marketing and promotion there. We want to expand our TCAP center. Uh, we uh, they've got the truck driving school in. Um, all their classes right now are full. They're wanting to do a um, a uh, police officers training there to get them jump started. And one of the things that we hear from our local law enforcement is we need more people. We need more trained people. So we're trying to get that in. Uh, we try to listen to everybody and see what's the need and, and what can we do to help fill that need. Um, got lots of events going on. First person says there's nothing to do in Rogersville or Hawkins County. I beg to differ. So look at all the events and you're welcome. We've uh, got uh, this Memorial Day weekend, the veterans are doing a um, event downtown. Uh, so uh, make sure that you come by and support them. Got a vintage fair going on, got Jeep shows, car shows, motorcycle shows, uh, you name it, we got it going on. So, uh, with that, um, one other thing I just want to mention, and I just got notification of it. Uh, I don't, how many of y'all remember Kim Williams, Kim and Phyllis Williams? Kim is a songwriter, and um, we had a um, plaque over in Bulls Gap, which uh, right there is kind of what it looks like, the music pathway. Sorry, it jumped off there just since I said that. But uh, we were notified uh, Kingsport uh, claimed Kim Williams because he was born at the hospital up there. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I told the Department of Tourism, I said, so was probably 55% of Hawkins County born <laughs> there. So they finally relented and let us have him. So we're, we're going to get, similar to the Archie Campbell uh, music pathway sign, recognizing Kim Williams. Uh, it'll have a, a photograph of him and a brief history of all of his accomplishments. And those are not, uh, right there, it'll have a picture like that and then on the back side it's got all the information. Um, and probably uh, we're trying to still decide the best place to put it in Rogersville. Um, he, he was actually born over in Fort Valley, I mean, or lived in Fort Valley and then moved to Thornhill. So it's kind of, trying to figure out the best place to put it where it will be most visible. So uh, we have the Department of Tourism coming up um, uh, next week and we're going to look at a couple of sites and they'll they'll approve whichever site they feel like is the most visible. Uh, and hopefully when we get this one, you know, we still got, we're working on Charlie Chase and, and if y'all remember Barry Bird Burton, we're working on that. So we may just have a music pathway part. We don't know. But anyway, just some exciting times and, and the good thing about that is we've never really been on the Tennessee tourism's radar. Well, we've got their attention. We're on their radar. So this has been uh, a fantastic year to be able to do a lot of stuff. And so uh, just letting you know, uh, we're working for you, and we appreciate all the support that you give us. And, you know, if you feel like that this would benefit your business, we'd certainly be glad to um, uh, talk with you on that. Um, um, Bob uh, Houston comes up at least maybe once a month now since we've been working on this project. Uh, he, he will gladly give you a phone call. Uh, you can call him, uh, call me and I'll send you to Bob. So, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but once again, thank you. Thank you all for the great job that you all do in helping us keep this community as beautiful as it is. Uh, specifically, Bob likes to come to the Chamber of Breakfast, so if you do get him up here, try to make it toward the end of the month. Amen. <laughs> Best deal in town. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, who's, my, who's my helpers? Melissa and yeah. Ellen? Yeah. Uh, I want to thank uh, Ellen McMillan. She, she did all the setup order and all that. I want to thank Autumn and Melissa for helping out. They did a great job on this. Like I tell my board, if it wasn't for Alan and some others, they wouldn't get fed. Y'all wouldn't get fed if it wasn't for these girls here. So I want to appreciate y'all. Thank y'all, girls. Okay, Karen Burr is and Melissa Burr. Okay, Karen 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 Burr. Okay, Karen